perhaps I can point you in the right direction. Varix believed Aramis wished to create a new life for the Elixni, but these dark powers have poisoned her mind. And so I fled from her. For this, she calls me Betrayer. There are others who fled, those like me, who still worship the Great Machine. They are in hiding. I will not leave them behind. They will be casualties in her war without our help. But perhaps they can be brought to safety. Mm. Oh, this is the pulse rifle I heard about. Yeah, can you imagine if I get a god roll my first try? That'd be too good. Oh! Not a god roll, but also not bad. Wow. Also, give me that. And so long looking fashionable, at least for now. It is a pulse rifle, and it's an adaptive appended, increases stability, range and stability, handling speed. Probably go with now this because it has a reload speed must work. I might keep this. Probably not, but maybe. That's what I was gonna do. Okay, so I wanna probably of my old weapons vault an older one that isn't super high level so that I can have two spaces and be able to swap blues on the fly I might have to do the same thing with my armor as well let's see that cool. Probably vault that scout rifle. Vault the sword I was using. Okay. Then I'll probably get rid of this armor set by vaulting it. Wait, should I? Righteous. Uh. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe this other set, yeah, this other set instead. Since I'm a, we have a double primary thing going on, I'll we'll swap to this and for now maybe use sticking bottom tree for the PVE management. I think that's it. Alright, 
should be a new thing on my map, right? Complete rising resistance. I think the I think the wind is pushing me actually on my sparrow. Oh wait, yeah, they said him uh if the storm gets heavy enough it'll blow you off your sparrow, I think, right? I still can't shoot or do anything, so... I guess this is just world building? Either that or I'm about to be ambushed. Or a tutorial of some sort. Okay, Barracks. That's two. Did you hear that? Sound of her voices. What? Who? The ones who spoke through me. We must hurry, then. There's one more relay. The darkness. And of course it's the furthest from the actual shack. That's not good. They're here. They're beckoning us. Okay, is it just me, but who else is wondering if the pyramid is actually influencing the weather in this place? And how big their influence around certain areas is. Because that's what I'm thinking. Because that storm just stopped. Nothing more than a soldier asked again and again to do its bidding. So we want to thank you with a gift to help you finally take control. Beyond. This kind of reminds me of the scene of uh, Warmind, the opening expansion with Anna running across the ice. <gasps> That's what that is? Okay, it's a pyramid that transforms into that.
Is he? He's already using stasis. He didn't even hesitate, did he? Looks like he's still figuring it out, though. No, they are very well acquainted already. She's involving herself in ways that she hasn't before. Right on time. Long time no see. I know. I owe you an explanation for all this. I once asked Guardians to destroy the Blackheart, to prevent Darkness's arrival. Success may have been achieved, but I now know that fate comes knocking sooner or later. The floodgates are open. The Darkness is here. I wield it now with intent to stop our enemies where the light cannot. Your resilience within the pyramid proves you're capable of wielding it too. Before us lies what we call a ziggurat. Its purpose is temptation. To begin your training, you must give in. Here, take this. Please understand. The line between light and dark is so very thin. Let's cross it together. Okay. Very cautious, because the last person who said that, you know, I had to kill. But, uh, you know, maybe it's different. You're not so much broody, or hopefully not being manipulated by somebody else we cannot see yet. Next, a stranger has returned just as the darkness was inviting you in. Instead of warning you to turn back, she says it's time to accept what it offers. The light is not enough to face Aramis and her dark counsel. If you want to defeat them, you must embrace the power of the of darkness as they have. She hands you a splinter of darkness. Hmm, air quotes, so that's exactly what it's called, splinter of dark. Okay. Um this will allow you to wield stasis. There are others like it all in the hands of house salvation. Sal house salvation. <sighs> Yours is weak now, but will strengthen as your proficiency grows. Lastly, the Exo Stranger offers you her campsite. As you collect lessons and keepsakes, return here to reflect on your experiences. But first, you must accept the path before you begin by attuning your splinter in the monolith ziggurat on the icy flats ahead. Is it possible that we somehow resurrect the Exo 
the Exo Stranger and the raid or in Beyond Light in general. I just find it odd because she phrases it like, this is our future but not hers, which gives me the inclination that it's either her past or somehow another future, which was mentioned in the grimoire. I think that she might be of another reality. Oh, he, okay, so not only do, are there supporters of the Great Machine, but they still want light. I cannot tell you how relieved I am to see you. We are in great need of allies, and I am in even greater need of a buffer between myself and the ever-obnoxious Drifter. The stranger, you see, is far too reserved to provide sufficient rest from his chatter. <laughs> I suspect her quiet has more to do with what she has to hide. Though I've yet to work out what or why. Still, even these two are an improvement from my solitary studies on Luna. You're lucky to have your ghost, Guardian. As you can surely tell already, this journey into darkness is not to be traveled alone. Your old pal Drifter was right. It's time to ditch the light, good, dark, bad dogma. Folks are finally starting to see it. With everything that's at stake, you are reveling in being right. Just let me have this one, Three Eyes, all right? Just once. <laughs> okay. And you got nothing else to say to me. Alright, just making sure. Also, I'm not sure if... Er what is it? Eris is not uh, using stasis yet. Which makes me... Bleh, which wait, bleh, Makes me believe that either, you know, she gave one of the things to Drifter, or Drifter got one of his own somehow. Either way, she had two splinters, and she only gave me one. So, I'm just saying that I, I hope that other one doesn't bite us in the ass. when you get it three more times or become attuned with it three more times I'm guessing uh, death is that way how to unlock it either way I'm uh if they aren't attunements or whatever and they're just actual locks for I don't know act activity later in the future I'm uh wondering what was behind the door for Eris' meeting or Aramis's meeting. Just as a tune. So I'm guessing I'm just going to talk to Barracks and fill them in. Because <laughs> it's just like, I left you alone for about five minutes, and you already have like three, three things I don't, didn't know about? How? Guess not.
No, that's the first time I've seen that. Transmission. It's Aramis. Attention all pawns of the once great machine. Did you know that before it doomed your kind, it did the same to mine? You are not special. Just the plaything of a so-called god who would sooner see your life end than its own. So some ducks are going to be coming in here soon. I bet or they're leaving. Either way, this is really like the Pyramidian. There's a lot more Vex milk and Vex stuff than I was expecting. Although Vault of Glass is coming in, so... Okay. Oh my god, I can fly literally anywhere. I didn't even ha have to jump or anything. That is awesome. I can still throw grenades. Okay, so fireballs, a shatter thing. Okay. I can still Phoenix dive? This offers a lot more mobility than I was expecting, and I love it. Okay, so... Melees on a frozen person does seem to actually shatter them eventually, because it does damage, but grenades don't. At least I think so, let me see. Frozen, grenade. Nope, still alive. Another grenade, still alive. Melee still shattered though, okay. Also, shattering people unfrozen does barely any damage at all, like it nudges them. The range is pretty wide as well. I want to see how much I can do with uh, just these grenades. <laughs> Ooh, you do have to be pretty accurate with this thing though. It has almost the exact same uh, blast radius as a model. The uh, Celestial Fire. Two blues. Also, can I still Phoenix Dive? Okay. I'm assuming that's because I'm still somehow slotted into my Solar subclass? I thought if that's... It is. So, I wonder if I go with Top Tree. 
Yep. Okay, still have it. Okay. Yep, that's pretty insane. Like, this is a one-time thing, but still. Like... Does it damage myself like they were saying? No. Even if I freeze myself- Oh, I can walk right- No, I can only walk through one temporarily? But when they're spawning on me? I wonder, like, in the trailer, if I'm, uh... If I jump, there will be a platform I can... I can, but it is very uneven, so I'm guessing this is a different form of stasis that I will actually be getting later on. Also, before I forget, I should swap back to my bottom tree and the coming. Okay, I might secure the fuck chest and access. Okay, so basically, open this chest by using stasis, I think, or just breaking it. Can I use stasis yet? Nope. What balloons I get? Awesome. Awesome. Okay. I'm gonna become less and less awesome looking, but I'll be able to do damage. Also, after this mission, I will definitely be taking a clip because uh, this is a bit longer than I was expecting. Oh. All I know is I want to see st these stasis abilities in tandem with other abilities. Unseal. Okay, yeah, so it is just like a way to unlock stuff right now. I think. Is there any secrets here? I don't think so. Also, am I closer to that waterfall? A little bit, not a lot. Okay. So, we can use stasis to unlock these latches after all. Let's look inside, see if we can find anything useful. Aged armor. Regroup with Varix and Charon's Crossing. Okay. Oh my god, I'm... I'm glad I'm, I put on that blue gear immediately, otherwise I'd be dead. It is direct me backwards, but maybe there's an exit this way? I find it odd that they would, you know, have a bunch of enemies here and it not be the proper way to mo move. Or am I going to see something we're not supposed to see yet? Oh, oh my god. Probably not. Um, okay. That's not weird. Oh, it's just having me loop around through this way. So I could have moved backwards, but it's about the same thing, maybe? Locked? Okay. Can I just fast travel from here? 
want to see what this is and then I'm going to fast travel or try to at least hmm probably related to another quest because I'm a uh, usually these barriers like push you back and that one's more like just a wall I think that should be my ghost shell I see highlighted here right I can just fast travel. So I communed with the darkness and stasis as a whole. Met with Eris, Drifter, and the Exo String. Who we're pr still pretty sure is Elsie Bray, but who knows. Can it be? I can smell that poisoned power on you. Does corruption spread so quickly? Or do you hope to fight Aramis with her own weapons? Mm, the second one, mostly. You walk a very dangerous path. Take this recklessness to Phylax, then. But beware. She is Aramis's most skilled warrior. She made her name at Twilight Gap. Prove yourself a worthy opponent, and she will show herself. How do I do that? I kind of already killed a few gods. I feel like I kind of already have that. Varix disapproves of your new stasis abilities. He thinks you're being reckless. He warns you to remember what darkness what the darkness has done and what it is doing to Aramis. He refuses to believe that this is the only way to stop her. He's probably right. Uh, but he acknowledges that you are free to walk your own path, even if it's a dangerous one. He urges you not to lose sight of your goal to get to Aramis. You must oh, to get to Aramis, you must begin by defeating the leader of her army, Phylax. Thanks to his secret communication network, Varix learned that Phylax was ordered to take control of an area currently occupied by the Vex. Gather information about the whereabouts of Phylax, the warrior, by challenging her soldiers in Eventide Ruins. Okay. Got to challenge a one, huh? What we got? Shot. Oh, I thought it was a shock. Oh, it's a precision frame that comes with dragonfly. Me likey. Fluid. I'd probably go with that for PVE. Um, dragonfly from planted. Does it has accuracy, stability, and handling? Accuracy is probably related to range. So maybe I got a good one. Maybe I should dismantle these shaders really quick. Okay. <sighs> Fallen. In a single life, defeat the Fallen Eventide Ruins. Oh, I also have new my notification. Ruins. What is this? Very good communications. Visit as well as Optus for a gift from Osiris. Your seasonal artifact. Okay. Well, uh, what should I do? Oh, this is a new screen. Okay. I'm going to take a clip right here, go to the tower, get my present, then uh, continue 